Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to show you how to play the F chord on guitar. This one will be a little bit harder than last week's E chord, but I'm sure if you practice enough, you'll get the hang of it eventually. So, we're starting off actually just with the four lower strings. What we're going to do is actually we're going to start off by um, placing our ring finger on the 3rd fret of the 4th string. Then we're going to place our middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string. And then we're going to place our index finger over the 2 lower strings on the 1st fret. So place a mini bar over the 1st and 2nd string on the 1st fret both with the index finger. So, together that sounds something like this. That's only the four lower strings, which is the F chord. I would normally say that the first position is the most common way to play a chord, but this one is a little bit different, at least in my case. Uh, usually I play the F chord in the next way I'm gonna show you how to play it. So, the most common way, in my opinion, to play the F chord is actually right here when we place our index finger over all the strings on the first fret. And then we place our ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string. Then just below that on the fourth string we place our pinky finger also on the third fret. Then our middle finger will go on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string and then we get an F chord like this. Which sounds a lot fuller than just the 4 lower strings here. Okay. So usually I use this one, this is the second way to play the F chord. Now, the third way to play the F chord is actually how we start with the other chords in the second position. Last week we did the E chord and the second way to play the E chord was over here with the five lower strings like this. Okay, so if we move one fret up the arm we get the F chord. Okay, so that already sounds pretty high and it's pretty high up the arm. But those are the two other ways that I usually play the F chord if it's necessary. So, next week will be the G chord and that will be the last of the major chords. Then the week after we start off with all those chords but in the minor version. Alright, so guys I hope you learned something again today, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video and don't forget I also have reaction videos and music videos for you to check out. Hope to see you guys next time, bye.